Hello, YouTube! This is the Avis Cup Series Race 6 of 15, the Pocono 400 live from Pocono International Raceway in Long Pond, Pennsylvania. On the poll today, we have Bob Marshall. Uh, I think this is his first poll of the season. Followed by Josiah Cop. And, uh, yeah, let's get the cars rolling. We're going to have a 30 lap shootout today here at Pocono. I actually found a 2011 track, but this is basically the 09 track, but somebody went in and added safer barriers to the inside wall. As the green flag is out and we are racing. Pocono was such a good race in season one that the executives decided to bring it back for season two. Already they're three, four wide. That's not going to end well. Look out! Ooh, they keep it green. One thing that we have a new driver. I will point that out in a second. Obviously, well, it's the new driver for Evan Irwin, But I think Jack Richards might be in the wall. Holy moly. Oh, no. Oh, big mess. Big trouble. Oh, there's the new driver, Jamie Muckley involved. There's Cade Stewart spinning. Coming back to the line, it will be Bob Marshall. Let's, uh, let's see what happened. Alright, we are back over here. Uh, Pappy has turns Carter Kozlowski and then everyone else just really piles in. Nowhere to go. These straightaways are narrow. And then you see everyone piling. Get turns. Zach Carlson has a hard hit over here. Um, everyone else just gets turned. Um, cars spinning through the grass. The grass is like ice. Uh, CJ Sorensen, Jamie Muckley, Ralph Green, Zach Carlson, Alex Petty, Cade Stewart, John Stewart, Matt Edwards, Nick Knotts. Somebody right here. It might be Alex Petty. Can't tell. Uh, there's John Dillon. Uh, Luke Martin. Levi Shones, Mark Edwards, Ricky Hawk, Jack Richards might have gotten a piece. So let's get back to the restart. All right, we are back. We got Bob Marshall, Sean Henley, Kyle Watkins, Corey Long, Josiah Cop, Elijah Koufax, Bob Fergus, Jacob Lawler, Randy Carpenter, and Garrett Jones. Who? Oh no, I keep thinking he won here. Pappy has won here in season one. As the green flag is out. And we will resume racing. Hmm. Lots of glare on the cars. I don't know why it's doing that. That doesn't look very good. Is Henley going to die for the lead? Must have taken his Viagra before he got in the car. Yeah, he'll storm off into the lead. Down. One of the back stretches, I guess. I don't know if this is the back stretch, but eh, you know. The I think we're hurting for FPS a little bit today, so sorry if it's a little laggy. I think it's just I think it's the track, really. I don't know. Well, right now we seem to be doing okay, but it hurts a little bit right here. As Henley will lead this lap. And there is no caution, which is a good thing. Corey Long gonna dive for a second. Yes, for a second. Bob Marshall starting to fall back a little bit. Let's go a little deeper in the field. Henley, Corey Long, Kyle Watkins. We skip Bob Marshall. I don't know why. Elijah Koufax finally having a good run. Bob Fergus, who I keep guessing he's going to be the point shooter, and then he never is. So I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. Randy Carpenter, Theo Stiegel in the Camping World colors this week. Jacob Lawler having a nice top 10 run. Garrett Jones falling back to 11th. Kurt Gibson, Greg Brown, Tim Froelich. This might be his last race if he does not comment. 
and that will give that ride to Christian Gearhead, so he's probably watching, Christian Gearhead is. So, we'll get that sorted out, I'll send you a message. At some point. Nick Bradford, Clive Burr, Jeremy Tacos having a decent run. Andrew Parker, Matthew McMurray, Jeffrey Dyer, Jamie Smith in the Reese's Colors for the first time this season. Barney Ward, Galligan after being involved in that crash, kind of. 24th. John Stewart, Matt Edwards, Luke Martin, Kenny Murray, Ricky Hawk, Nick Knotts, Levi Shones, Kate Stewart, Alex Petty, Jack Carlson, Ralph Green, Mark Edwards, John Dillon, CJ Sorensen, Jamie Muckley, 38th, not where he wants to be, and Carter Kozlowski in 40th. Oh, Jack Richards, 41st, and only one car out of the race. As Sean Henley continues to lead, oh wait, nope. Three wide for the lead. Wow. I think. Wow. Kyle Watkins dove under both guys at the same time. But I think Bob Marshall is going to get a better run down the backstretch. And he might just have the lead. Yeah, he does. Oh, no. Oh, did I? I think Bob Marshall might have just hit the wall. Hmm. Elijah Koufax in the second. Wouldn't it be great if he won? Look at the cars fan out. Looks like this is your lead pack right here. And then you got the guys all involved in a wreck in that pack over there. Kyle Watkins now out front. Henley's really falling back on that outside. The outside's really only good in turn one. I would say. That's just me, though. Hmm, not a lot of cautions today. Everybody stayed, uh, stayed quiet. They minded their P's and Q's. Bob Marshall gonna go back here for second. Let's see, there's the grip strip, as they call it. Still Kyle Watkins out front though, but man, this pack is getting more and more spread out. Elijah Koufax now in second, slides in front of Bob Marshall. There's Henley. Corey Long side by side with Jacob Lawler. He should have the, er, uh, Corey Long should have the preferred line into the tunnel turn. Can barely run too wide. As Bob Marshall looking for the lead on Kyle Watkins. Kyle Watkins. Oh, he was a little bit out of the grip strip there. Let's check out the back. Jack Richards. Carter Kozlowski got to round Jack Richards. Carter Kozlowski has some crazy damage. All these. You can barely see who is who. Basically too wide over here for the most part. Single file right here. Then right back up to the front. Where Kyle Watkins is... Ah, you know what? Kyle, I'm sorry. You were supposed to run the McDonald's car. Ah, I knew I was forgetting something. I'll have to just switch a McDonald's and a Dodge race around get your wish, but it looks like the dodge scheme's the way to go today. Man, oh man. Uh, Henley back into third, Elijah Kofak back to fourth, Jacob Lawler in fifth, Corey Long sixth, Yeah, we stayed very much green. Set the drafting distance to point nine, which I thought was a good a good distance to get some green flag and some wrecks.
but it's all it's been all green flag so far except for that one wreck oh Elijah Koufax three wide for second Bob Marshall oh I thought he was gonna be the big loser but I think he's helping out Mr. Henley Henley's right on the back bumper of Kyle Watkins. There's Jack Richards. Where are the leaders? I don't know if they'll run into him. If they stay green, that'll make things interesting. Ooh, Henley's right there. Hmm. Into turn one. 207 I saw in a split second. Hmm. The tires are wearing, they're not running their fastest laps much anymore. Hmm. Kurt Gibson now inside the top 10. Where, oh, there's Garrett Jones. I'll say he was top 10 when he came to the restart. Both Red Bull car, or er, well, I guess Garrett Jones is in a Red Bull sandwich. There's Tim Froelich in his possi possibly his last ride. Someone else is possibly in the last ride. It's Tim Froelich. There's someone else. I forget. Uh, it's funny. Let me tell you guys a story here. Um, what was his name? James Taylor. He, as you know, is no longer in the series, and he's been leaving comments like he's still in the series, like, oh man, I like this track, not a good run though, which means that he just guesses where he finishes, like, I, I cannot stand people who do that. That's why I kick people out if they don't watch, because I bust my butt, do this series, make it the best it possibly can, and I'm going to have people in the series that watch the races and appreciate it. Pack getting more and more spread out. Single file for the most part now. Where's Jack Richards at? He's going into three? Yeah. The leader's going to one. Dang, we're coming to ten laps to go, and this has been all Kyle Watkins. Well, we're not coming exactly to ten laps to go, but you know, we're, we're getting around that, that time. Jeremy Tacos pushed Theo Stiegel right out of the way. That'll open the door right up for people. Mm -hmm. Carter Kozlowski's falling way back now. Ooh, Bob Marshall is right there! My goodness, he's been trying to get around Kyle Watkins for a long time now. Track seems to, the tire and the track combination seem to be good. As finally, Bob Marshall's diving under Kyle Watkins. Ooh, he's gonna try to pull the slide job. Ah, uh, will work. Wait, what? Don't give him room pull up in front of him, Jesus. Oh, there. Well, Kyle Watkins is now gonna try the reversal, and Sean Henley might stick his nose and make it three wide. Oh, man! Kyle Watkins back to the point just like that. Bob Marshall was in the best position, now he's in like the worst one. As we have 12, we're gonna come to 11 to go. Jack Richards, you saw, was just about half a lap down. Elijah Koufax back up into third. Josiah Cobb making his way back up. He started on the 
outside front row. He scored in fifth that time by. Nobody's really gotten away from each other, but there haven't been any wrecks. I guess you could call this a plate race pretty much. Well, plate races. We have to see the big one first. Although that wreck on lap one might have been the big one. Elijah Koufax is going to dive down for second. Mm. Henley sliding up the track. Kyle Watkins will lead another one as we have 10 to go. I'd say he's definitely led the most laps. Who's this kicking it out, making it three wide? Oh, man. That's Corey Long. He's up to third now. There's a Greg Brown. We haven't seen him all day. Look at that. They're, they're drafting. You better not hook him. That'd be bad. Where's Jack Richards at? I think he's going into the tunnel turn. Indeed. Yeah, so he's just about half a lap down. Don't think they'll be able to catch him. Corey Long gonna dive for second now. My goodness, he has a long run car. And he has to get out of the draft though to give Elijah Koufax room. Oh, Elijah Koufax not quite clear. Corey Long going to try again to go for second. Yeah, he's by him. Wow, Corey Long has a very good car all of a sudden. Can't he get up there and pass? Uh, Kyle Watkins. This lap, Corey Long ran a 50-31, but he just passed a whole bunch of cars. Oops. And I gotta see what lap. 50-31, 51-45. Corey Long is faster right now. Bob Marshall falls back to fourth. Yeah. Greg Brown into the top five. Good for him. Henley back to sixth. Josiah Cop seventh. Bob Fergus eighth. Randy Carpenter ninth. And oh, oh, we have trouble. We have trouble. They saved it though. Jacob Lawler and Matthew McMurray. They saved it. Not sure if the caution is going to come out. No, we stay green. Wow, we. Did you see that? I think somebody hooked somebody hooked um, Jacob Lawler into the wall and Matthew McMurray with nowhere for him to go. And look at the field bunch up. They're literally all nose to tail. Elijah Koufax going to dive down for second. Kyle Watkins going to block. Corey Long put on the high lane and... Hung out to dry. You don't really hang out to dry at Pocono. And Elijah Koufax is going to go for the lead. Oh, well, maybe not. Kyle Watkins is in the grip strip. No, not quite. Oh, we got trouble. Garrett Jones hard into the outside wall. Caution is out. We'd better get a race to the finish because that's going to be lame. We're green the entire race. And then that. Oh man! Whoa! Let's get a replay. Alright, we are back. I think Clive Burr turns Randy Carpenter into Garrett Jones and BAM! Hard hits all around. Clive Burr does get involved, which I'm sure Randy Carpenter is going to be happy about. Randy Carpenter hits the inside wall over here. Not very hard though, he just kisses it. Garrett Jones has some quite a lot of damage. And then another incident happened, and it was much bigger than this one. Let's see. 
All right, here's the other incident. C.J. Sorensen turns Alex Petty all throughout turn three, and then finally, when they get onto the rumble strips, he gets spun hard into the outside wall. John Dillon nails him, and look how much air he gets. My goodness me. Nick Knotts is the car right there. And, uh, yeah, hard hits, hard, hard hits. So, let's get back to the restart. Alright, we are back. This is exciting. We're gonna have us a green, white, checkered finish. We got Kyle Watkins, Elijah Koufax, Bob Marshall, Corey Long, Greg Brown, Josiah Kopp, Sean Henley, Bob Fergus, Jeremy Tacos in the ninth, and Clive Burr in tenth. But that's gonna be interesting, because he has some damage. Might just hold up the whole field. As the green flag is out, let's see who wins. Bob Marshall immediately gonna dive down low, and there! Clyde Burt holds something up. I don't know if the caution will be out for that. I don't know if he hit the inside wall or whatever. Nope, we're still green. As Kyle Watkins gets shot out of a cannon. This race is Kyle Watkins's. How about that? It's his third race of the season, going for his first career win. Let's not forget he's a rookie, too. Out of turn three. I've probably called that turn four at some point today. White flag! Elijah Koufax is going to dive down low. I think that's for second, though. Nope, never mind. Corey Long going to try to dive down low on Elijah Koufax, and that will work. But look at Bob Marshall. He is right there. Elijah Koufax going to try to make a move on Bob Marshall. Bob Marshall really losing out. Ooh, Elijah Koufax gets under Bob Marshall. Does he have enough time to get under Kyle Watkins? He's really going to have to dive it into turn three. Oh no, not going to be enough. Out of turn number three, Kyle Watkins, a rookie, is going to get his first career win. Wow, congrats to that whole nine team. It's his third race. He was up front in, in, in the first COT race at Auto Club. He got involved in a wreck at uh, Watkins Glen, but today he basically leads all the laps. I think Bob Marshall got a few in there. Anyway, let's see your official results. Back here with your official results, congrats to Kyle Watkins with an average speed of 130 miles an hour. That's respectable, considering we've had ones with like 50 miles an hour and stuff. Elijah Koufax going to nab second at the very last second. Bob Marshall will end up third. Greg Brown finishes fourth. Talk about clutch. Forget where he started on the final restart. I'm sure he can tell me. Corey Long will end up fifth. Pretty respectable. I, th I think he could have gotten a top three, though. Josiah Kopp sixth. Henley seventh. He was good at the beginning of the race, but then kind of faded. Bob Ferguson eighth. Jeremy Tacos will end up ninth. That's good. And Andrew Parker gets his first, or I don't know if it's his first top 10, but it's a good run. And then everyone else. Papiaz, oh, another bad run for him. 40, oh god. His luck, better turn around fast if he has any hopes of winning this championship. John Dillon, 41st, I mean, come on, we've come to expect that. Um, CJ Storms in 40, Alex Petty, 39th, after getting some serious air. Mark Edwards, 38th, and Garrett Jones. Oh, yeah, that's right. He was involved in that wreck, too. Where did Clive Burr end up? That's what I want to know, because he restarted, like, the 10th, I think. Wow, 11th, after, uh, even with all that hood damage. That's cool. So, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, congrats to Kyle Watkins. Uh, I will get your paint scheme right next time, but I'm sure you could care less right now. Um, so that's pretty much it. Comrade, subscribe, and we'll see you at race 7, which, 
I really don't know where. I have an idea of where we might go, but I don't know anything yet. Comment, subscribe, and uh, we will see you later.